Hey guys, it's Jiminy here and welcome back to another video. Super excited about today because today we're finally playing Clash Royale after five years. That's right. If you guys don't know, last time I played Clash Royale was when the Ice Arena was released and the Executioner was. And when the Executioner got released, it was like changed up the whole meta. My best strategy, Lava Hound strategy, was basically outdated at that point. But we're back in Clash Royale again to see how much has changed. Like recently, you've probably have heard that the Champions got released in Clash Royale, which makes the game equivalent to like almost clash of clans with their heroes so that's awesome so we're gonna check it out first of all we're gonna check out the arrival of magic items because you know i get to look at all this stuff so use the wild card to upgrade the progress to any card okay so this is just one of the magic items it's showing me to do so i can actually do it like on my golems i probably do it on my golems because it just makes sense too because those are like really strong and clash Royale, i assume is still strong because back in the meta you would use them and then of course we got another wild card so you can add uh progress okay I don't know, so this is both the exact same card, but I guess one's just a much more different rarity for the apply to different type of cards. So one's for like commons and one's for the uh, bigger troops. I forget what these troops are called. Like, I forget the tier list in Clash Royale because how long I've played, I've been playing forever. So this is definitely gonna be interesting. I upgraded Valkyrie because Valkyrie is still strong. And you know, you get a free gold, which is pretty cool from our daily rewards. So let's definitely claim that. And I have pretty much every card. If you guys are wondering what cards I have currently, I have a few legendaries. I got the Lava Hound. I got the Electro Wizard. I got the Long. You gotta have the Long. It's meta still. You gotta have the, oh yeah, well the Inferno Dragon I still have, which surprisingly. I thought I didn't have that for a second there. And I have Sparky, uh, Log, and also all this stuff. Like I have, a, I, have a few, I have a few decent cards in this game, but I'm still missing out on quite a bit. That's the kind of thing. I want to do is to see what happens if I attack in Clash Royale for the first time after like five years because like there's still like a ton of stuff they added like look at this. There's so many new cards since I last left and of course the heroes and stuff like that or not heroes champions are now at the final clan king level which is 14 so I'm like what am I king level like, I don't even know but who knows let's just jump into attack real quick and see how this goes this is definitely gonna be really interesting I'm hoping I don't run into an executioner right out of the gate because I'm not good I'm I'm, I'm not gonna be completely honest if I get an executioner with my deck I'm going to lose without a doubt in my mind so this guy's starting off of, of course, his troops. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna drop my Lava Hound from the back here and then use the log to actually clean on up with all the little troops down here. And then we can get a pick, we can wait a quick second and then drop skellies in on top, which will clean them on up, which is awesome. So usually my attack strategy is pretty simple. Log of a Hound to start on out, then use some small troops to clean on up the opposite side of the base. And if they get over there, get a good pick. And if I can't, I'll drop the Mega Minion on the opposite side behind the actual Lava Hound. Now, the reason why I do that is because that way, the actual troop can push the Lava Hound forward when it actually pops. So that's what I try to do, and then the Mega Minion can pop anything that pops up on top of the Lava Hound. Then I should get a good pick off of this if everything goes well, so the pups are going to get some damage off, which is what I want, so that is awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Inferno Tower, Inferno Dragon to actually heal, not heal, get some damage off. I use the Electro Wizard to actually stop the uh, Miner, because I forget Miners are a thing in this game too. And then we can see if the actual Inferno Dragon gets the tunnel. Probably won't because usually people don't let that happen. If this guy lets this happen, I'll be nice and I get a free little damage off. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Now, we're going to hold it off for a second and see what this guy does next. If I can, I might lightning that King's Tower on the left hand side, get a free pick, which would be awesome. But I don't think I'm going to do it just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my troop first and then I get the skeletons next. Now, if I can do everything correctly, I should be able to lightning the actual tower, get the Lava Hound over there, and then defense with the three cards they have, and then drop a Mega Minion. So, we're going to wait a second and just see if he does anything to defend off this attack real quick here. So, I'm holding off for just a second. Let's see if he does anything. If he does, I get a free pick on everything over here. He hasn't done anything just of yet. No, he hasn't done anything. Okay, sweet. I might just hold off then from doing that. So... There's only a few more seconds left on the clock. What I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna lightning now. I'm gonna minion. I'm gonna drop in the other things in now. Mega minion to defend. And then that way we get that. That way it doesn't target the King's Tower. And then on top of that, we can drop the baby dragon. And it not baby dragon. Inferno dragon does a pit. We get the pick. And on top of that, Larry's. And then we also get a log to clean on up everything down here. If any spawns anything with it in the next few seconds. And then, of course, we're gonna have his King's Tower with absolute ease. Unless he drops a P.E.K.K.A. and tries to get me that way. But what I can actually do is do that and just get the win. Easy, easy. I'm back after five years and my deck still slaps. I feel like though, 
if he dropped an executioner i would have absolutely lost without a doubt in my mind no doubt about that but we also got ourselves a nice golden chest so that's awesome so we got ourselves a golden chest and we also got our first win back which is awesome and now there is claim rewards i haven't checked this out yet what royale pass what's royale pass i guess this is like equivalent to like the gold pass in clash of clans i'm not gonna snag that right now because i don't play enough to actually do so so that's pretty cool but what i actually do is i'm actually gonna unlock this right now if you guys just to see what we can get from a golden chest since i haven't opened the chest in like eight years so let's actually do that from the gold chest we got ourselves gold which is not too bad snowball i'm pretty sure i have to join snowball we got royal hogs i'm pretty sure i don't have that so i just unlocked that uh skeletons had those definitely and of course the flying machine i'm pretty sure i had all those uh, so i don't think i'm missing like anything too crazy like there's a ton of stuff i wonder what i can get at the arena so i'm at arena what is it ice arena's eight or something like that now yeah they've actually like moved around the troops and stuff like that depending on the arena i'm pretty sure like the princess and also the executioner at the royal arena now i have to double check that i'm like let's go look that up Oh, here's that thing I was talking about. The different levels, you can actually get prizes. So it looks like I did log in at one point and actually claim this. I don't remember when I did that. That's weird. I guess I did it one day just thinking I would hang out with the boys in Clash Royale. And I guess that wasn't the case when I did that. So Inferno Dragon's now in the jungle right now. I don't think it was originally there. I can't remember what arena it exactly was. So that's interesting to see. And then on Hog Mountain, Lava Hound's there. And also the new one. The What is it like? The female hog rider, which is pretty good with the goat and stuff like that. And then on top of that, we got ourselves at the Electric Arena. Of course, Sparky, Electro Wizard. So you can see, I like I have a few of the troops from different arenas that I shouldn't have access to because that's how long I've played. I haven't played in such a long time. I, yeah, so Royal Ghost is in Spooky Arena. That's a new one. Pretty sure like Spooky is new. Electric Arena is new. Uh, Rascal Hideout Arena. That's new. Of course, like the Headhunter is right there. Not Headhunter. Bandit. I think it's Bandit, right? I, I have to double check that. Uh, there's a ton of arenas. So, yeah. I'm surprised that Witch is up here so high. I thought she'd be like a lot lower in all honesty. Then again, oh my god, there's like, what is, there's so many like new cards. Like, wow. Okay, also they have like the higher leagues. I think my brother at one point got to like master like one or something like that. I have to double check. I know my brother. My little brother got really into Clash Royale and he just started dogging on kids. I, I don't even know what he's at anymore. So that's cool. Let's actually jump into another attack though. So we're versing this guy, of course. Let's see what he starts out with. So far, we're looking pretty good. They might honestly matchmake me against someone who is the um, executioner. I'm gonna hold out. I wanna play defense. Okay, I probably should play offensive first since I have so much actual heavy troops. I need to save a bit. So I'm gonna start offensive first just to see what happens because my deck is based around like, I play defense when it makes defense. And I play offense when I play offense. Luckily, I know how this deck pretty much works and I know how to use it. So I'm gonna take full advantage of that. I'm also going to use the minions to actually decoy. I don't want that loon to get a pick. If the pick gets off, he's going to deal a ton of damage, which is unfortunate. He did get that, so I'm not too worried, though. But what I might try to do is pop the town hall, or, like, pop everything over here and get the damage on everything. So let me just do that. The pups will still get over there, and we get a free pick, which is nice. That pup will get targeted, but that's not too much of a worry. We're going to still get more damage off than he did, which is fine. So that's looking good. So usually I use lightning as an offensive and also a protective way of defending our troops. It really depends on how I want to do it. So I want to see what this guy's next. The, the big thing here is whoever makes the next play will either win or lose. So we're going to drop in that. Electro Wizard. And we'll also get the damage off, and they should stop them from doing it. The Leap Barbarians are really strong, from what I can tell. Because they're, they're like a light game troop. So, we're looking good on Elixir. I kind of want to hold off for a bit, just to see what we do next. So, if I get enough damage off, I'm going to go for the same tower. And I might try to bait him, if possible. That way, if he does target the same tower. Because we're both going at like the same tower at this point. So, I want to see what happens next. So, I'm actually going to drop that early. I'm going to drop this. I'm actually gonna drop the minions on in on top of it the protect and we should get the pick and then of course the bomb will probably pop our minions oh yeah, they barely just popped them which i'm not too worried about so we're gonna wait for a second i'm actually gonna drop in the mega minion behind mega minion is gonna get targeted by two of the bats which is fine and we'll still get a damage off like we have a ton of damage off on both of the towers which is fantastic and that's what i really want because if i play offensive or defensive for this deck i can still win as long as they don't get completely like outplayed so we do that we're also gonna get that off which should be more than enough and that's sick now he is dropping a wizard right there which i'm not too worried about so i'm gonna start that from the back again and repeat the cycle because you usually want to try to repeat the cycle in this deck 
And so we're gonna see what happens. So he's dropping a wizard from the back, which I'm not too worried about. What I might honestly do is lightning it, then drop in my minions. Like, so let me drop in my minions. I'm gonna drop in my lightning, which is gonna pop everything in the proximity, which is awesome. And that should get the free pick, free damage off. And it didn't protect from the Tesla. So that's my only issue. Now, of course, we're gonna do Baby Dragon. We're gonna do Skellies. Then we're gonna do the Battle Tark, the Skellies, which is fine. And unfortunately, oh, he actually dropped in a different thing. I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, oh, this basically lost free revenue. Uh, not free revenue. I lost free damage. I uh, lost the uh, Lecture Wizard. I should have placed that. I should have held off on that, which is fine. We won still. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. I honestly think we could have taken all three towers if we played that a bit differently. But nonetheless, that was so really good for getting back on after five years of not playing Clash Royale. If you did enjoy this video today of me playing Clash Royale after five years and you want me to see more, let me know in the comments. Let me know what your favorite card is that's new and I haven't seen before. Actually, be really interested to see which one is your kind of favorite card. Uh, but um, yeah, if you did enjoy this video today, though, make sure to smash the like button, get subscribed, and don't forget to check us on Twitch because we do stream there, of course, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There will be a link down below to our Twitch channel. Until then, I'll see you guys for another Clash of Clans video or maybe even Clash Royale video. Who knows? Until then, G-Man out.